the non cyclic photophosphorylation starts with photosystem 1 light rays strike the photosystem 1 which releases two electron molecules these molecules are accepted by ferredoxin reducing substance and then transfer to ferredoxin the photosystem 1 has lost the electrons and ready to accept electrons from photosystem 2 the light rays strikes photosystem 2 which releases two electrons these electrons are transferred to electron acceptors like pheophytin plastoquinone cytochrome b6 and cytochrome f when electrons transferring from cytochrome b6 to cytochrome f an atp molecule is synthesized from adp then the electrons transfer from cytochrome f to plastocyanin and finally fills the electron hole in photosystem 1 the photosystem 2 has deficit of electrons the deficit electron or electron hole will be filled from the electrons released after photolysis of water in the meantime water molecules split into hydrogen oxygen molecules and electrons the electrons fill up the electron hole in the photosystem 2 the molecular oxygen released into the atmosphere the hydrogen is used up in the formation of NADPH2 thus the path of electron from water to NADPH2 involves two photosystems this path of electron appear like the letter Z hence the path is called Z scheme the net gain in non-cyclic photophosphorylation is two molecules of ATP and two molecules of NADPH2.